playing a game by Rockstar. Oh, good. And Team Bondi, they're not around anymore. No, oh, well, is that a good thing? Uh, well, I, don't, I don't know about that, but uh, today we're going to be playing something a little bit uh, more mature than what we had last time, certainly. <gasps> oh, no. This is L.A. Noir, a uh, crime video game for... Uh, Many platforms now because the re-release was just released for uh, Switch, PS4, and Xbox One. But we are playing the Xbox 360 version because, well, it's the version that I have. And, well, we're going to see if we can't play a fun little detective game set in the 1940s. A nice historical period drama because we've been talking about historical things, you know, recently in our other projects, of course. And, uh, well, maybe we can have some fun here. I don't know. Okay. Now, you've beaten this game, right? Or at least played yes. enough to know what it is? Yes, I have. It killed an Xbox. Uh, oh, good. <laughs> That's a good sign, then. Now, I haven't seen the anything about this game or played it, so this is new for me. Well, uh, the one thing you should know about this game is... Oh, hold on. Let me go ahead and turn the subtitles on here, because this is really important stuff. <laughs> it just makes things easier. Anyway... Um, L.A. Noir was a game that had really, really impressive facial rec uh, facial capturing technology. It was really advanced for the time, and it still holds up. I mean, look at this stuff. It looks really, really realistic because, you know, not only did they capture the face as well, but there's also, like, you know, breaths of air in the cheeks and wrinkles in the, in, you know, realistic wrinkles in uh, the forehead. And it looks really, really good. Chin Ki Chan did a great job. City of <laughs> Welcome to California in the 40s. The city of dreams. Or Hollywood will shape the thoughts. Wait a minute, you're telling me he wasn't really riding a horse? What? No! Film industry has lied to me. See, I knew they faked the moon landing. The city of pioneers. And it was all thanks to the greats of LAPD. Welcome to Hollywood Land! I'm waiting for that to be a Mario level in the next one. Wasn't it already in the TV show? Oh my god, you're right! The City of Dreamers. I want to go to Bollywood land, actually. <laughs> I'm sure it'd be a lot less dreary than this place. A lot less dreary, a lot Hollywood more spin-offs. But not everything is as it seems. So, it may not seem like it, but all the things we're seeing are all in some way connected. <gasps> are you saying we're gonna find dead people at these locations? I'm saying if you are a fan of Phoenix Wright and other uh, mystery games and visual novels, and I don't see why we can't do a fun little police procedural. Come on, I've been wanting you to do Law and Order for years. This is the next best thing, so. I was just thinking, is this the continuation of Law and Order? <laughs> Actually, it's the prequel. It's the origin story of Flying Order. Whoa! <laughs> At least until I go back into, like, you know, royal guards or something like that. But anyway, we are going to start our first case upon War, reflection. Mistakes get made, but you deal with them. You know what you're fighting for. What we are dealing with right now is a series of four quick cases. Like you never know what and it will serve as a sort of tutorial. And we play oh, as... This guy, Cole Phelps, who is driving this police car, he's just, he uh, recently came home from the war, and now he's here to, you know, serve and protect and all that shit, yada yada yada. Gotcha. Go ahead, KGPL. Cole Phelps is the guy on the right. Gotcha. See, what people don't know is the reason Rockstar Games take so long to create is because of their... Amazing attention to detail. Yes. Team Bond, I worked on the facial features, and I'm pretty sure Rockstar did the open world stuff. And if there's hide nor hair of a curse word, that's also Rockstar. <laughs> uh, nice driving, Ace. I'm just trying to make things interesting. Uh,. I want to see how much damage I can do, because the game does indeed keep track. <laughs> no way! And also, you know, uh, I haven't done a lot of driving around in this game, actually. 
Phelps and Dunn, Wilshire Division. We had a shooting I haven't really explored the, the map that well, and I'm all about exploring maps and all that stuff. So. Anyway, we got our first victim here. They shot some guy in the back of the head twice up against the wall. That nasty, nasty shit. Good lord. Give it your best shot, guys. Now, uh, you can tell me if this is a spoiler or not, but do we have to deal with the Mafia at one point? Not really. Ki kind of a little bit, but, uh... This isn't really a gangster-type game. I mean, you do have to deal with gangsters, I'm sure, but I don't mm -hmm. think they're, uh... This is a fist hump. Anyway, uh, this game has several phases. Sort of like a Phoenix Wright game of sorts. This is the investigation phase. It's kinda... Walk around, look around at stuff. Cole Phelps likes to walk into boxes sometimes. <laughs> oh, you are making me love this playthrough if we're just going to play the the trials and tribulations of an inept cop. The only thing we're going to do well is the investigations because that'll just make things go on forever. So uh, he doesn't know how to move his body well, but damn it, does he know how to talk to people? Have a good look around. Usually. <laughs> Figuratively speaking. It's not my job, I like the music so, cues. That's an interesting mechanic. Yeah, that tone means that there's something there. That dun dun. And there's a, well, a beer bottle. Whoa. <laughs> Look at this you bottle. Know, this is how you inspect an object. You can move it around and just kind of, whoa, what is this thing? So you can... <laughs> but you can also interact further with objects. But also, uh, to throw on even more stuff here at the beginning, we have these special collectibles called newspapers, where we're going to be following a certain subplot. Oh. With this Dr. Harlan Fontaine. Oh, and it even comes with flashbacks. Fontaine. Could I have a word? Of course. This guy has an unfortunate really first name. Lecture, and an unfortunate haircut. Let me guess, his name is Dick. Well, thank you. I'm nah. always happy to receive acknowledgement for my work. The mind is the last great mystery in medicine. I thought it was cancer. Mr. Mocap technology at its finest. Courtney this is oh. Courtney I'm Sheldon. Second year doctor. They fast tracked me a year because of my experience during the war. Ah, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. The game kind of loosely follows uh, Cole Phelps and some of his war buddies, and they all kind of interconnected the story too. I would say yes, given the right set of circumstances. Trauma forces the mind to close down, retreat in on itself. We try See, right now I'm just looking for any specific details I might need. Ten episodes down the line. Well, you're not going to need any here. This is this is just a. Uh, just a B plot, but the plot will indeed thicken. There are 13 newspapers in the game. Oh. And I'm fo I'm following a guide here, so I guarantee we're going to find them, hopefully. Goody, goody. It's like he's wandering you went through a lot together. Yes, Doctor. So this is the unfortunately haircutted Courtney Sheldon meeting the, uh, honestly kind of shady, Dr. Harlan Fontaine. Ah, uh, yeah, all we need is to turn this black and white like it originally was, and then we'd have a drama on our hands. I was thinking about maybe doing that, because I think there was an option to turn it black and white. Ooh, yeah. I want you to remember that. Every physician has patience. You think they re-released this game because of the success of Cuphead? Uh, Lord, no. <laughs> I mean, that's a thought, and yeah, you might be onto something with the 30s cartoon aesthetic, and then Even going this into is the 40s. This is yeah, this is 1947, yeah, so... Yeah. Well, it turns black and white at the end, so... Okay, you know, there's well, your... that works. Here's your drama! Anyway, back to, uh, mm -hmm. what was it? Uh, oh, oh, yeah. Hey, oh, look, another beer. bottle! This oh, this is how you drink beer! Actually, spoiler warning, it does pertain to the case. What?! It, not really, but... So. Oh, well. You got my hopes up. See, I'm always looking for clues. So you can hold RT to run, much like a car. Ooh, Cole Phelps, a... you, you hit the trigger to accelerate. Oh, no. Strange. <laughs> Keep your eyes peeled so what am I looking for here? Oh, that. Oh uh, yeah, probably the the vast amounts of blood on the door and on the floor. You were telling me that wasn't there before. Hell of a way to go. Well, I mean, it is a dark back alley in L.A. Really well, that would certainly detract criminals if I just had a random blood stain there. You know, it doesn't have to be blood, of course. It could be ketchup or paint or something like that. Something to make the criminals go, Whoa, man, something, something fucked up happened down here. I need to get out of this place. 
couple Ralph waiters got into a tussle, and it just wasn't How pretty. How the hell did you see that? Reflection in the window. Looks like it might be our weapon. I'm gonna see if I can find a way up. So that's some eagle eye shit right there. It's like, <laughs> huh, look at that window up there. There's a gun on the roof. Go figure. Holy shit, Phelps. Did you do the so, crime? Because there's so no Cole way a normal civilian would figure that out. So now Cole Phelps has to show that he does parkour. Man, look at that shit. Okay. So, uh, you might call me stupid, but I actually thought the gun was on the window. <laughs> and not the reflection. You're not stupid because I kind of thought that too. Somebody's packing a Smith & Wesson, you kidding me? Smith and Wesson Magnum. Oh, no shots fired. Oh, two rounds fired. Train, our shooter hoists it up here. They were the Just holes that were poked in. The right, right, there. Right. I saw that afterwards. I thought it was going to throw me a twist. Like, that's not actually the murder weapon. It's actually over here. So if you heard that sting just now, that means that we've gotten all the clues and we can wrap it up and head back. Seriously? Some initiative, Ralph. Yeah. See if we can come up with an there's like a, yeah, a uh, atmospheric goal. kind of music that plays, you know, say that, you know, there's clues you that you can be finding for. to help with your sure. investigation. Mm -hmm. Then when the music stops, it means like, okay, time to move on. Old short and sweet, I guess. This game is not short. There are a lot of cases. No in Isn't it four discs long on the 360? It is three. Three. That's right. You can't wait to get I don't know about you, but I like, uh... I like disc swapping. It makes the game feel bigger, you know. I agree. Kind of like in a course, laser, like in a laser disc sort of way, where you gotta turn the disc around because you know oh, it's so big, so epic to get the best quality. And then of course PlayStation Three with their Blu-rays had to come in, and that's just all one disc. Yeah, boy. So now we're gonna head to the gun store to figure out where this gun came from. Come on, Slowpoke. I thought we were going to leave our partner behind. <laughs> that would have been perfect. So, what kind of fun stuff can we do with the car mechanics in this game? Not much. It's not as nuanced as Grand Theft Auto, but oops. Um, we, I'm sure we can still find some fun stuff to do. Like, uh, I love sleeping dogs a lot because I love driving on the left side of the road. And, you know, Cole mm -hmm. just came back from Japan and all that. So he's used to driving ah. on the left side of the road. And he just just kind of can't he just can't get back into the swing of things, you know? Oops, Holy sorry. Crap, are those, are those sorry. sirens after you? Nope, they're me. Oh, you have the sirens on. See, we're the police this time. We are ah. the opposing force in Grand Theft Auto, although you don't want to run a whole lot of people over because if you do too much shit, you'll get a game over, but... Yeah, you we'll get try. fired. We're going to see how many people we don't end up killing. Okay, we're just, so... We're uh, just here to cause a lot oh of property God. damage, that's all. Jesus, look at your car. It's completely wrecked. Now, well, that's fine. Because uh, we, we have we have we have a magic set of mechanics on hand. Ah, okay. We got a, we got a team that's following us at all times. Whenever our car gets in bad shape, they fix it right on the spot. That's coming out of your way. I'm waiting for mine. us to arrest Nico Bellic, honestly. Like, do we find Roman? Take him down. I do down? not believe that either of them were born at this point in time. Damn. Well, how about their? I don't know. Oh wait, no, their father probably wouldn't have immigrated over here. Never mind. Niskol, no, you'll create a time paradox. <laughs> I want it to happen. I want every Rockstar game to be in one universe. Here's the gun store. As you run into it, <laughs> set off every gun in the window. Not for lack of trying. Trust me. I'm trying to do as much as I can here. Yeah, that doesn't look too good. I mm -mm. mean. The engine looks nice. Yeah, I could probably put some spit and polish on that. It'll be fine. Officers Phelps and Dunn. Can you tell us anything about this gun? Smith & Wesson. Model 27, registered Magnum. Chambered for 357. Nickel plated with Ooh. world grips. Same gun used by General Pat. <laughs> You're not suggesting he's the owner? No, I'm not. You seem to know a lot about the weapon. I ought to. I sold it. Well, yeah, it was you in my shop. Stop a rhino. These babies... <laughs> are only available special It'll stop a rhino and an unfortunate soul. You mind if I take a look? Be my guess. Can it stop an elephant? This is about something bad, right? So, another uh, aspect we have here is looking at clues and trying <laughs> to find the relevant piece of data. 
Ah, orders. orders. 27 with pearl grips, Cole. So let's see. see here. What do we look at? Uh, parish of hmm. Let's see over here. And look for a thing over here, huh? Press A. You can tap your finger. It's like this. Oh. 27. What are we looking for? The pro grip. This guy right here. Errol Schroeder. Errol Schroeder. 203 South Glass Street. Ordered the gun in February 46. He's one of those guys who has to read with Thank his finger the underneath the words. Mm -hmm. Always happy to help out the LAPD. Blam, blam! <laughs> we'll get there. <laughs> oh, don't tell me that! So he's at home. Uh, if it is a Rockstar game, of course there's going to be double crossers. All right, now we're going to head to uh, Schroeder's apartment and ask him, what? Do, why did you shoot the man with the gun that you have bought for yourself? Okay, answer answer me this. Okay, first of all, before that, if you hold Y by a vehicle, your partner will drive and take you there. Oh, cool. Seems a little too good to be true. Now, uh, I have a question. Okay, go ahead. How did you know it was that guy? Because we found the gun on the rooftop. Two shots, just like the two that killed the, the, the guy, right? Right. So we went to the gun shop where that gun was sold. We checked his records, and we found that it was Schroeder. You know, Schroeder ordered that gun because it was made for special order. Okay, so the exact so, gun. So this gun belongs to him. We're going to find out... What's going on here? Because this puts him at the scene of the crime, unless if he has an alibi. So now we're going to go and question him, saying, Hey, we found your gun by your murder scene. So, uh, what's this about? But we're also doing this because, you know, we're getting a little ballsy for just uh, uniformed cops. Usually detectives do this kind of work. Mm-hmm. Because Cole, Cole Phelps isn't going to let this guy walk. We have a real chance to do something good here. He's bleeding heart pieces. <laughs> anyway. His apartment's around here somewhere. Here it is. Look for the gold handle. Well, hold on, I need to use my finger to inspect the... <laughs> inspect everything. There he is. Sure would. If we, oh, Schroeder. Apartment 2. And as we walk in, he's jumping out the window. We'll get there. Damn it! I don't want to predict everything that happens in a Rockstar game. I'm trying to maybe knock on every door because, you know, some games do that. What do you oh, we've want? just entered the well, most interesting scene done. in Heavy Rain. You're the owner of a Smith & Wesson Model 27. Do you mind? You're interrupting Madison's topless scene. That might be. What up? Ah. You'll be surprised to know that Scooter Payton was murdered tonight with your gun. You're out of your mind. Scooter, he works for me. I have that gun here in my drawer. And? What the fuck is going on here? You're uh -oh. Under arrest. oh, there's one. Cuff him, Ralph. No it's way. a Rockstar game. Taking me down for this. It's time to fight. Up, oh, fighting time. Yep. You ready, tough guy? Uh, because we don't shoot people who fight the police, we just fight them with our fists. Very... This is kind of run of the Grand Theft Auto 4 engine in terms of animations and all that. Mm -hmm. So the melee style is kind of the same too. It's not bad. I mean, it's really just kind of a thing you do. Like scanning somebody in Papers, Please or something. It's just a thing that happens. Ooh. Man. Ralph, you alright? I'm fine, I hardly felt it. He's lucky he caught me off guard. Are you holding that gun correctly, man? Keep an eye on him, Ralph. What size around. did the bullet comes out of? It's like outstretched all the way out in front of you. You know, you're not holding it with both hands, which is what you should be doing. Do they, do they just have no et gun etiquette in 1947? Did, did they? I, I, I don't know. I seriously doubt it. Anyway, we're going to look around his apartment and see if we can find anything. So far, we found a comic book and an apple oh, on the floor. Apple. You, you dirty, disgusting bastard. Were you going to eat this? I'll put Wait, it is right that an apple or a tomato? I, I don't know. I don't want to bite it and find out, though. Because if it's a tomato, kill him. <laughs> a tomato? Well, I guess that's how it works, boys. Book him. He's a criminal. <laughs> look, I found a out. bullet inside the tomato. Ah! Oh, back to Mystic Tales. Let's see, a, it's, uh... A coffee yeah. cup. Oh. oh, good to me. Can you smash the mug? No. No. If I do that, I have to pay for it. Well, you're gonna pay for, like, thousands of dollars worth of property damage anyway. Oh, so I better start saving now. 
Aha! I told you those beer bottles were relevant because these are the same mm. beer bottles that were in the alleyway! Oh my god! But these ones are sealed! How do I get to the beer? Man. Oh well. What am I missing here? Oh. There's actually a notebook here in his drawer where the gun should have been. Ah, he's secretly a hitman. This is his hit list. Hmm. <sighs> Was I right? This is his little black book. He owed a lot of money. $50 in 1947 was a shit ton of money, brah. So th those are his debt books. He's a... Those are the people who owe him. So, there is a fucking motive for you. But we're gonna have to let the higher-ups deal with this. Our work here is done. Officer Phelps, that's 1247. Well, that's kind of neat. And that was our first case. Now we're gonna have the military flashback. Again, yeah, really gotta admire the facial captures. I mean, it looks it looks really good again for 2011. For 2011, yes. The iPhone 4 was hot shit back in 2011, like next gen shit. God, that's a million years ago in technology time. I wonder how the upgraded next-gen versions look. You dumb fucking sons of bitches, get in this line now before I lose my... And that's another one. Me, he sounds like a camp me? counselor trying Fuck to do an you. R. Lee you Ermy impersonation. Word, your fucking head and have you in the brig. Because... Here for... I know why you're here, asswipe. I'm having a bad... Because, like, he's trying to shout Some but not be too loud. It's like, would you mind keeping your fucking your voices house. down? Can you believe this guy? I want to think that he's not yelling because if he yells too hard, the mocap stickers will fall off. God help me, this fucking country and the USMC! Oh god, you strained your jaw a bit too much. Alright, redo it. You might not be too far off. Yeah! I know mocap, damn it! So, not only were they soldiers, they were actually going to be like, you know, like management. I, I, I forget what OCS is. Let me look it up real quick. It's for men who want to fight. I think it's for men who want to teach. Oh. Well, that's completely different. Officers Candidate School. They are training ah. to be officers. So, on to our second case. <gasps> Armed and dangerous. Well, the right place, Cole. A city that needed an honest cop like a thirsty man. Thrill at the wonderful thrills of being garbed <laughs> dangerous. Coming soon like to a drive-in drive -in theater near oh, you. <laughs> Armed and dangerous. The force is like politics. There's no city on the fence. You have to choose sides. A brown paper envelope or a greyhound ticket. Shut up, Sam Elliott. Oh, Luca Bill. Oh, God, are we gonna get 40s words? I love sometimes, 40s words. Sometimes there's a cop. Sometimes there's a cop. We'll take that. It's only a couple blocks from here. So we got a, we got a fucking bank robbery going on. <sighs> Uh-oh. Oh, name drop. Alright, so off we go to the bank. Sweet! Oh, look at Ever this <laughs> Look at this cool lane we have here! <laughs> look I never out. knew about the- Dude, I never knew about this Holy fourth lane we have oh here! Oh god, he had a family! Sweet! What are you doing, you maniac? Alright! Whoa, shit! Oh. <laughs> that guy just ran into his own fence! He was going to the supermarket to buy juice for his kid! Well, he heard the sirens, he should have gotten out of the way! Ooh, that looked weird. Stop shooting, we're cops! So, okay, there's always a shotgun in the trunk. And, well, we got a lot of bank robbers. Oh, okay, so this is your dealing with the Mafia, I suppose. Oh, okay. So, I was about to say, those don't look like guy. robbers, but in the 40s, they would. And we'll, uh, wait till he pops up here. You know what? Fuck this. Fuck it. I'm not gonna deal with this cover action bullshit. You come around here, you just fucking die. <laughs> It's like, oh no, oh no, ah! Oh shit, the cop has balls! Alright, who else wants some? Who else fucking wants some? You? Alright, fuck you, fuck you. Who else? There's one more of you somewhere. Oh, there you are. 
Where you at, man? Yeah, oh, fuck you! God, this reminds me so much of Grand Theft Auto 4. The That's battle it. system in that we was so all. weird. I am so oh. fucking Cole Phelps! You will remember my name! Anyway, as I lay my vengeance upon thee. Cole, we only have two shotgun shells. Where did you get the other eight? And then he just starts. <laughs> I made it myself. Um, no big deal. What? I make ammo in my spare time. Duh. Back in army school, they taught me how to conserve ammunition and to it's make kind of more pop out of thin air. Once in a lifetime, Hank. I have to grasp it. Firmly grasp it! Damn it! I was thinking the exact same thing! There you go. If I can make a name you ever seen Full Metal Jacket? I've seen uh, the parts that matter. It's the first half, right? Yes. You, don't the you forget the second half, which is the whole point of it. It's about the horrors of war. It's like, yeah, first it's all fun and games because, hey, he said the fuck word, but then it's like really, really bad pole. stuff over there. It's really the fucked up. Syndrome. Yeah. Guys who go around dreaming of fame Stanley and Kubrick wanted to tell you that. Killed in the process. Our duty is to but why would he soften so us up for an eventual punch in the gut? Because war is hell. Yes, it is. Thank you, old snake. Oh, wait, he never said war is hell. He said war never changes. Damn it. No, he said war has changed. Leonard Nimoy did uh, war never changes. Or oh, war okay. has changed. I don't know. War. War has changed. <laughs>